We started our tour of Belém, one of the most historic and charming neighborhoods in Lisbon, by visiting the most famous pastry shop in Portugal, the Pastel de Belém. The Pastis or Pastel de Belém sells the iconic Portuguese custard tarts. The shop started selling these tarts in 1837, following an ancient recipe from the Ger- Geronimo's monastery. This secret recipe is recreated every day in the bakery using traditional methods. The shop sells over 20,000 tarts a day. The Pastel de Belém was announced in 2011 as one of Portugal's seven wonders of gastronomy. The flaky pastry filled with an egg and cream custard is usually eaten with a sprinkling of cinnamon and powdered sugar. It can be eaten hot or cold. One of the most stunning examples of late Gothic architecture in Portugal, Geronimus Monastery and Church is among the country's most visited landmarks and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its history dates back to 1495 when Manuel I ordered its construction as a final resting place for him and his descendants. It was here that Vasco de Gama and his men spent the night in prayer before leaving on their expedition to the Orient in 1497. The church was in a poor state of repair at this time and it was not until 1501 that construction of the monastery and church began, work that was to last for a hundred years. The design and construction is one of the most prominent examples of the Portuguese late Gothic Manolin style. Manolin is a richly ornate architectural style with sculptural themes which incorporate maritime elements and include objects discovered during naval expeditions. The stone used was a gold-colored limestone. The building was subjected to some damage during the Lisbon earthquake of 1755, but this was not major and repairs were undertaken. Restoration work was begun in 1860s, including the significant alterations to the dormitory, annex and the facade when it was to take it on its current appearance. Work was to continue through to the end of the 18th century.
church is also the resting place of a number of poets and that of Vasco da Gama, the Portuguese explorer who was the first person to sail directly from Europe to India. His tomb is located in the nave of the monastery's church on the left by the main entrance. Vasco da Gama died in Cochin, India and was originally buried there but was returned to Portugal and in 1880 was transferred to the monastery. The monastery together with the Tower of Belém was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. The monument of the discoveries is a monument on the northern bank of the Tagus River. Located along the river where ships departed to explore and trade with India and the Orient, the monument celebrates the Portuguese age of discovery or age of exploration during the 15th and 16th centuries. This monument stands at 170 feet or 52 meters tall. This stunning monument was inaugurated in 1960 on the fifth centenary of one of the country's great discoverers, Prince Henry the Navigator. The monument is made up of a group of sculptures that represent a small sailing ship constructed by the Portuguese to explore the Atlantic Ocean. Leading the ship is Prince Henry the Navigator and behind him are many other great Portuguese discoverers. Belém Tower is a 16th century fortification located in Lisbon that served as a point of embarkation and disembarkation for Portuguese explorers and as a ceremonial gateway to Lisbon. This tower symbolizes Portugal's maritime and colonial power in early modern Europe. It was built during the height of the Portuguese Renaissance and is a prominent example of the Portuguese Manolin style. It also incorporates other architectural styles such as the minarets which are inspired by Moorish architecture. 